Hey everyone, just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on our Norwell 79s. Been through a few changes since the Melbourne show in August last year, so made a few updates to the vehicle. Um, I just thought I'd run through them now and give you a look at the new stuff we've done, a couple of mods to the car, and just go through some of the things that it's got. So on the front, LP9 Baja design lights still there. We've also got them, the little ones in the bull bar. Underneath, got the new J-Max armored front diff. There's a king steering stabilizer there as well. So that's the new diff, so extra strong. Um, uh, looks the part and it gives me a bit more strength in the front end, especially on the rough corrugated roads we travel. You can see the uh, intercooler fans there. So that's top mount intercooler, DPU intercooler with the fans. Uh, Boothy at Power Talk Vic has done the tune. So it's a G350 with plus 90 injectors, pushing 256 kilowatts, 40 pounds of boost. Uh, 1,000 newton meters at the wheels on 35, so quite a handful as a tray back, but heaps of fun. I love it. Um, inside, we've got the Recaros. Still, got the consoles.com.au from Rowan. Got the dash mat from the boys at Quick Pitch. EGT and uh, Boost. Got the Hema on the Kimberley Cape Hema mount. It's also a Snorkel bracket there from Liam. We've got the visor up top from Wacko Industries. So Tommy, my mate, makes those. He's sort of got a bit of a hiatus at the moment, so he might bring them back soon. Power folds from Clearview. Power boards. Power fold mirrors are there. We've got the quick pitch ensuite on the roof rack, and then I've got a light, another Baja light shining down into that as well. Um, really good product works really well with the rhino rack i love it um it's just gives you that bit of privacy when you're traveling so on the tray as you can see there's a few changes um that have transitioned out so obviously i've been running these new locks that you can see for the last sort of 15 16 months um they've been transitioned out got the water filler got the tap got the new flared guard so we've been running these in various forms for about the last four or five years since the J-Max product come out, we've just revised it and refined it over the years. Stronger, better, more adjustability. So it's designed for a cruiser with a track correction on a, like a 8-0 offset wheel with a 35 or a, up to neg 25 with a 9-inch rim. Um, if you're going to run standard wheels with standard offset, it's not going to look any good. The tyre's going to stick too far in. Relocated fuel filler, which is standard on all our trays. And then we've got the new light board that we've tweaked subtly. So it's a little bit fatter so that we can run sensors into the light board. But we've also added the added, added the feature of five degrees of fall here. So then it runs down and then back. So you don't get dust pooling in the corners. It falls off naturally, especially on those corrugated roads. Mark's four drive tow bar. So it's a super high mount one. You can still jam a winch in there if you want to. We've got the torque at three and a half inch exhaust which we modified to work with the j-max and the arb tank um, usually those three products don't work well together you torque it and j-max do but the arb tank threw a pickle into it so i've tweaked that um, underneath you can see the new mounts so these are uh, our new mount so it's version three um, we've had various options over the last sort of eight nine years these ones are the final one fully engineered designed and built in this toolbox, you can see how the locks work as a compression lock. I've got a compressor mounted, so it's the ARB twin. Tank's on the backside above the exhaust, so I've still got room for my, my tool roll. Got our hinges, which are our Norwell hinges. And then tube headboard, so roof rack. It's got another light there, shovel bracket. So the vehicle's still the Jeep Anvil. It's painted, it's not wrapped. Um, it's done probably 50,000 Ks last sort of 12 months. Um, up and down the coast, Darwin, Territory, South Australia, so it's covered some ground. I am thinking about building another one later in the year possibly, see how things go, but at the moment it's, it's pretty much perfect. I love it. Um, I've got a canopy on the build. I hope to have that done for June. We've got a Cape trip planned if it's open. Um, we'll just see how that goes. It's a pretty formidable looking vehicle. I'm, yeah, it's, yeah, it, just, it stands out. I love it. Anyway, thought you'd just like to see what we've done with it. Um, 
any questions just jump on the norworld website facebook instagram you can check out what we're up to give us a call drop us a quote give us an email and we'll just talk to you from there thank you